Let's talk about why you should not ever use a quit claim deed to transfer ownership in 95% of all cases. Hi, I'm Thomas Hyman and in addition to being a real estate broker, I'm also a title agent and today I'm going to talk about warranties and promises made versus quit claim deeds and why this is such an important subject. So if you have a client that wants to transfer property using a quit claim deed or you're thinking about transferring a property using a quit claim deed, please watch this video because it could save you from a lot of heartaches. Basically, what is a quit claim deed? A quit claim deed is in essence you're quitting or giving up any claims that you have to a property. So there are cases where a quit claim deed is appropriate. Let's say, for example, husband and wife get separated and one person wants to transfer their interest to the other person. So a quit claim deed would make sense when there are multiple co-owners and one or more of them give up their interest to the remaining co-owner. So you would quit claim your interest in that property using a quit claim deed. But nowadays we see quit claim deeds being used nilly willy to transfer ownership, whether it is from someone that purchased a property, putting it into their LLC, or even as part of a quote unquote sale transfer transaction where the property ownership is transferred to another person using a quit claim deed. And that is something you never want to do. And the question is why? Well, warranties. Most people have owner's title policies in place when they purchase a property. So what does an owner's title policy do? It covers you against any claims that may arise from the past. So you're taking title to the property free and clear of any encumbrances, etc., etc., And the person that sold you the property is making warranties to you to defend the title, but you're not going to hope that they're going to do that. So you're getting title insurance to ensure your ownership interest is free and clear. And so if it turns out that there was an issue in the past, maybe a uh, lien that wasn't satisfied or maybe an heir in a probate situation that was not uh, being addressed or maybe some funny business went on with the transfer, even one, two, three owners back, it goes up to 30 years into the past, you are covered. Now, why is this important? When you transfer ownership to another party and especially if that other party is someone that you want to be able to be covered and have certainty of their ownership. Um, if you use a quit claim deed, you're not making any warranties, you're not making any promises. And so if you're transferring your property to, let's say, an LLC, and now later that LLC, five years down the road, wants to sell that property, and it turns out that there were some issues, that there were defective deeds in the past, or some other title issue rears its ugly head, well, guess what? The title insurance policy that insured you is not going to help that LLC because you did not make any promises. You did not make any warranties. You just gave up your claims. You just quit your claims to that LLC. And as a result, that LLC might very well be your LLC is going to be defenseless and that title insurance policy for all intents and purposes does not exist. So how do you circumvent that? You do that by using a warranty deed. Now, a warranty deed is a document just the same size as a quit claim deed, a little bit more complex, and you probably want to hire an attorney to have that prepared. But with a warranty deed, when you transfer that property to another party, whether it is your LLC or someone else's LLC um, or a partner, it doesn't make a difference, uh, you are now making warranties. You're making promises that you're going to defend that title you know, going back in all eternity uh, for all intents and purposes. And so if something now comes up because you are covered under the title insurance policy and because you are making warranties, if something from the past were to pop up and create a title issue, then your title policy will cover it. Now, if there's something that happened between you getting your title policy moving forward, let's say an IRS tax lien, that obviously would not be covered. But 99% of all cases or claims arise from the past and that's why having title policy 
is so important. So again, if you're transferring property to another party, another person, whether it's a real human being or a company, make sure you use a warranty deed to transfer that ownership. If you're using a deed to get rid of someone's interest, let's say you and your buddy bought a property and now your buddy is being quote unquote bought out and he's going to transfer his share to you. So now you own owning all of it. That's where a quit claim deed would be appropriate. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can direct message me. I'll be happy to help. And as always, please leave your comments. My name is Thomas Hyman with Realty Partners and Cloud Title. Thank you so much for taking the time.